Hello everybody! So, I've just finished scanning this auction house and it's taken so long that it almost made me stutter because, oh my goodness, this auction house is ridiculous. So, that took a very, very long time. But now it is time to go through things and make some gold because I know that using this add-on to make gold can be... Whew, it can seem like quite a big ordeal at first until you get to really, really know it. So. That's why I'm going to keep going through this again and again and again until every single person on my channel is absolutely happy and cool with using this add-on. So, I'm getting kind of tired. This is the vendor section. I've gone to the search and vendor section. And I'm getting kind of tired of clicking purchase all the time, so I'm going to control alt shift and purchase all with one click. There we go. And now we can just click yes for all of them. It's important to note that due to the way Blizzard's kind of changed how it lets add-ons work. You have to click at least once, I believe, whenever you're buying something or whenever you're selling something. So you can't just do what you used to be able to do, which was you could like, uh, auctioneer would let you set it up so that you could have it post your entire inventory with one click. It would just sit there and it would post everything and undercut people and it was, oh my goodness, it was awesome. Um, but yeah, you can't do that anymore. You have to click at least once every single time. And that's annoying, but you know, the add ons are still extremely helpful and it's good to have them. But we also have to click once to, to buy things as well. Okay, looks like it should be done now. I'm just waiting for it to finish scanning the last thing, one scan remaining, and that should be all of the stuff vended. So I've just spent like 200 gold getting stuff off of the auction house that has been put there for a price lower than I can sell it to the vendor for. Uh, on the Alliance side of this particular realm, I find it incredibly easy to make gold using the vendor section. I mean, there's no risk involved. You buy the thing, and you can instantly sell it for more than you bought it for. There's no need to trade it to anyone, and that's why I love that vendor section so much on this particular realm, because there's always so much on that vendor section. And we will later be going through the resale option in a bit. So, let's just keep looting that auction house. My mailbox is... it's got more than 50 items. Keep in mind that your mailbox can only load 50 items at a time, and I think it refreshes like every minute. So, it's now refreshing. It should pop up any moment. Come on. Chop chop you. If it doesn't refresh, then you just close it and reopen it, and it should refresh. It says 6 seconds. 3 seconds. Come on. There we go. It can get very annoying for impatient folks such as us. And it looks like soon my bags will be full because I still haven't spent any gold on bags. I will do that at some stage, but at this point, I don't really see the need. I'm not trading enough. There we go. Alrighty, let's go over here and let's vend some stuff. Right click, right click, right click, right click, right click. So I was at roughly 600 gold, basically I just made like 60 gold and what was that, maybe a minute, like a minute and a half, maybe two minutes, that's how long it took for me to make 60 gold. And let's go back to the resale. And search. Let's type away. There we go. And this is the resale thing. Now, I know a lot of you have trouble with the resale thing, so I'm going to go through this now and continually try and give you all the things that I'm thinking of. Feel free, please feel free to post those questions. If there's something you're not understanding, if there's something you think I haven't covered, whatever, I don't care if you, if you don't know how to, to buy an item, okay? If that's your problem, then let me know and I will make a guide on that, because I will. You know I will. I will make a guide on how to buy an item. Okay, so I'm looking through this. The sparkling shards don't impress me. Lotus water, no, none of this is really impressing me. I'm nervous of getting old herbs because their prices tend to fluctuate quite a lot. I don't like glyphs because they don't sell very well anymore. So let's just keep scrolling through this. I tend to avoid glyphs completely. In fact, they actually just annoy me now. Uh, 
maybe that silver leaf would be good. Let's have a look at silver leaf. I'm going over to the browse tab to have a look at silver leaf. And someone asked me why, and that is because uh, remember that the auctioneer add-on is looking for things that are like 50%, you know, at like half price. So if there's something at 60% price, you know, it's like 40% off, it will not show that at the moment. Which means that I could make, I could actually lose gold if there's like a million things posted at 51%. That could really mess me up. So that's why I'm looking for that kind of stuff. And by the looks of it, this silver leaf is all pretty much, uh, hmm, it, it's actually the normal price for it, but I may be able to get it and then sell it for a lot more than it should sell for. So, you know what? Let's just buy it anyway, because the prices above it are just so much higher, and I will hopefully be able to sell that for more, even though it will be at a ridiculous price and it shouldn't be selling for that. It doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to scroll, 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 scroll. Be careful with the cooking ingredient mats, because their prices can go up and down. I mean, all you need is a whole bunch of people to suddenly decide that they're going to all grow pink turnips. They slap down in the auction house, and guess what? The price just crashed. And because we have such a low gold total at the moment, I am being very, very careful. Now, when it comes to bids, I love my bids. So, you know what? Let's bid on a whole bunch of this stuff. Bid, 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 bid. I'm probably going to get outbid on every single one of these items, but it doesn't really matter because if even one of them comes through and I get them, that will be some gold. It's just a bit laggy. Come on. Hurry up, you. Bid, bid, bid. Bid! Attack of the bid. Okay, and that should be all of the ghost iron ore. Awesome. That will come through momentarily, I'm sure. Provided it's still there, of course. And let's have a look further on skipping a whole bunch of... look at how much tuxedo stuff there is. This is ridiculous. See, you don't want to buy any of this stuff, because if you do... Well, I suppose if you want to buy it, then you would buy it for very, very far in the future when this stuff is no longer available, so that you people will have to pay a much higher price in order to get it from you. But if you want to buy it to sell it now, if you look at... I mean, look at how, how much of this stuff is all on at low prices. You don't want to buy this. You won't make the gold, not right now. So let's keep scrolling down, and we are finding... Where is the interesting stuff gone? This is all old mana potions. We don't really want those. There's a lot to scroll through. You can hear my very noisy scroll wheel. I love this scroll wheel. It has a little button to make it super smooth, so I can move it once, and it will just keep scrolling through like a whole bunch of stuff. Staying away from the enchantments, that much like glyphs in a lot of cases, and Hypnotic Dust. Let's bid on that. Okay. This is decidedly boring. I may have to purposefully search for some things, maybe manipulate the auction house a bit. We'll see. Ooh, there's some silk cloth for bids, which is always good. And I see the person hasn't posted a buyout option. Never do that. If you post something with no buyout option, that is really, really, really silly. Just really don't do that. Next minute, your silk cloth ends up being the only silk cloth on there, and people are willing to pay a price to get it right now. But if they have to bid on it, you're going to lose out. You do not want to have bid only. Don't do that. Always have a buyout option. Even if it's really, really high, for whatever reason, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but even if it's super high, always have a buyout option. You want to give people the chance to have it right now. Okay, let's have a look. Because remember, people are prepared to pay quite a bit if they need something right now, but they don't want to wait. Nobody wants to sit there waiting 24 hours to maybe get an item, unless there's you're on the black market auction house, but you can't sell there. So, be very, very careful. Oh, looks like we got some old herbs here. I, I'm very nervous with old herbs, but we might get those because I'm not spending enough of my gold. I'm not happy. I like to spend a lot of my gold while doing resale. And let's get some frost weave cloth. And buy all of that. I like to buy normal items, as you may have noticed. Uh, that's my favorite item to buy, because generally that's what people tend to buy the most. Where it's, it, 
normal items tend to be the lowest risk when getting. Epics tend to be pricier, and you can often win on epics, but you can also lose quite heavily if you don't get a little bit of luck in terms of somebody getting that. We have some fell iron ore for some nice bid prices. Let's have a look at this fell iron ore. The bid prices are very nice. I do like those bid prices. Let's have a look back here then. Definitely want all of those. bit laggy. There we go. One, two. That should be all the fell iron ore. Let's burn on all of that. Get us some fell iron ore because that stuff is lovely and it glows and it's green and it's cool. You want fell iron ore. It's, it's lovely. A lot of outland materials for some reason can be really fantastic for resale because people need them to level up professions and all sorts of cool stuff like that. And there are not generally very many people in Outland at a time because you're only there for, what, maybe 8 levels? You go there at like 60 or so, you leave at 68, maybe you go at 58. So maybe you're there for 10 levels. It's not very long. So let's have a look here. And Dark Iron Bar? Nah, we don't want that. That stuff never sells. Some Soul Dust at abysmal bid prices. I'm not, I never really understand why people do that with the bid prices, because <laughs> you, people generally want to buy out things rather than bid on them, and when you just have them at super low bid prices, you can actually, you can sometimes lose out. I really just wouldn't do that. I don't have enough money. Oh, where have I spent my money? It must have been on all of that uh, fell iron ore. Jeez, what a noob, Tempest. You're not even paying attention to your gold total. You're terrible at this game. So I've got 20 gold left. I've just spent 600 gold. On and I managed to get three items. Pretty much all of that is bids. That doesn't really matter. You know, some of that will come back to me. And then tomorrow I will be able to get even more stuff. Because I can guarantee you right now, most of the stuff I've just bid on, I will not win. But the stuff I do get, I'm going to make quite a lot of money off of. So, I'm looking at, I'm posting the silver leaf on here. And I see that there are two items, one stack of 20 and one stack of 13. And if I buy those out, I will be able to post at a much higher price. And so I'm actually going to buy those, even though it's not technically like a, a super low price. And I really should watch my gold total. This is sad and depressing, Tempest. It is sad and depressing. So seeing as I messed that up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a lower amount of stacks. This guy's got a stack of 13, so... Let's post two stacks of ten. Or four stacks of ten. There we go. Because for the most person for the average person who's not using one of these add-ons, it will show with the lowest buyout price. So even if you're oh jeez. Tempest, what are you doing? You're not thinking properly. Let's cancel those. I'm trying to teach people things and I'm not thinking it properly. The idea is I can actually post these items at a higher price per item and they will still show first on the search list for most people. Of course I messed it up and just let it automatically undercut. You don't want to do that. Don't do that. I would have bought that final item, but as you can see I've got like 4 gold, so it's quite difficult to buy everything. Okay, Tempest, let's not mess this up now, man. Let's not mess this up. So 1 gold, 22 silver is the other price, so let's post at 1 gold and one silver, you know, that should be fine. It works out to 10 gold and 10 silver, meaning that we should appear at a better price than this guy. Even though technically he's a better deal, for most people we will come up first. Just a little tip for you, maybe you want to use that. It's I find it quite handy when there are prices that I don't really want to match because they're they're too low but I also don't want to buy them because they're not quite low enough for me to buy. That's when I tend to do this strategy. So we're actually posting at a slightly higher price. And the best part is, it's only one item in front of that. So even if someone's using an add-on and mine does not come up first, okay, they will probably buy this guy's and then buy mine because I'm the second on the, the search list. So I will still end up winning. That is the hopeful idea. And I have mail. Why do I have mail? Maybe I've already been outbid on some items. Yeah, there we go. 
Well, that was easy. And that's it for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, then please give this video a nice big like. And feel free to post those comments in the comments section on Facebook or on Twitter if you have any questions, suggestions, or whatever else you wish to say. And post it in one of those three places. Or all three places. It doesn't really matter. Go for it. Have fun. Links to Facebook and Twitter in the description. Cheerio.